This is VOA News. I'm Marissa Melton. U.S. President Donald Trump, faced with an impeachment inquiry, said Monday that written answers are not good enough for the whistleblower whose report sparked the probe. Mr. Trump tweeted that the anonymous whistleblower must be brought forward to testify. He said the offer made by the whistleblower's lawyer, Mark Zaid, that his client would, would answer questions in writing, was not good enough. The top Republican on the House Oversight Committee said written answers would not give Republicans a chance to cross-examine the whistleblower. Zaid responded on Twitter, saying that statement showed a misunderstanding of federal whistleblower protections. Whistleblower laws are meant to protect people who report issues such as misconduct and abuse from retaliation. A battle in New York over President Trump's tax returns now appears headed for the Supreme Court. AP Washington correspondent Sagar Magani reports. A federal appeals panel has ruled the returns can be turned over to state criminal investigators. Prosecutors in Manhattan want the president's tax records from 2011 on in a bigger probe that includes hush money payments during the 2016 race. The appeals court has upheld a lower court ruling rejecting the president's bid to keep the records from being handed over. His lawyer argued last month the president's immune from criminal law even if he shoots somebody because he's the president. Lead Judge Robert Katzman ended that hearing by saying the case was likely bound for an appeal before the Supreme Court. We have the feeling that you may be seeing each other again uh, in Washington. Sagar Magani, Washington. Anti-government protesters crossed a major bridge in central Baghdad on Monday, approaching the headquarters of state-run TV and coming within 500 meters of the prime minister's office. Security forces fired live ammunition and tear gas at the protesters, killing at least five people and wounding dozens. From the VOA News Center in Washington, D.C., this is VOA News. A new report finds sanctions imposed on North Korea are failing to advance denuclearization prospects on the Korean peninsula while causing immense suffering to the civilian population. Lisa Schlein has more for VOA from Geneva. The United Nations strengthened economic sanctions against North Korea in 2016 with the aim of bringing Pyongyang to the nuclear negotiating table with Washington. This tactic, however, has not worked. The talks remain deadlocked. While targeted sanctions against North Korea's elite are ineffective, authors of the report say evidence shows they are having a devastating impact on the general population, especially women and children. They say sanctions are adversely affecting humanitarian aid and economic development in the country. Lisa Schlein for VOA News, Geneva. Protesters in Iran marked the 40th anniversary of the takeover of the U.S. Embassy in Tehran with demonstrations and anti-American chants. Reuters' Francesca Linal reports. Chants of death to America could be heard outside the former U.S. Embassy in Iran on Monday, marking the 40th anniversary of the seizure of the mission, dubbed the Den of Spies, after Iran's 1979 Islamic Revolution. Crowds packed the surrounding streets and state media said marches were being held in some 1,000 communities across the country. Outside the old embassy, Iran's army chief had harsh words for the U.S. They will continue their hostilities, like the proverbial poisonous scorpion whose nature it is to sting and which cannot be stopped unless it is crushed. Hardline Islamist students stormed the embassy soon after the fall of the U.S.-backed Shah. 52 Americans were held hostage there for 444 days, and the two countries have been enemies ever since. Iran announced on Monday it's speeding up uranium processing by using new, faster centrifuges. A U.S. official who called the announcement nuclear blackmail said it is an attempt by Tehran to get the worried European signatories of the international nuclear deal to make concessions to Iran. VOA asked U.S. President Donald Trump on Monday what should be done about the new centrifuges. He replied, we're looking into that. The U.S. Treasury Department said on Monday uh, it has rolled out new sanctions against Iran adding to, to the more than 1,000 already imposed on Iran's oil exports, its banks, financial transactions, and the military leadership of the Islamic Republic. And Vietnamese media say police have arrested eight people in relation to the discovery of 39 dead Vietnamese in a truck near London last month. I'm Marissa Melton. You're listening to VOA News.